subscribe before you're ready TV, it's Damien here. Fitness challenge 2020 post lockdown. We're gonna be seeing how much body fat I can lose, how much muscle mass I can gain in a specific period of time. I'm gonna be doing a consistent half an hour run every day, consistent 45 minute gym session, weight session every day. How are we gonna measure all this? Well, it's very simple. Here at Virgin Active, we're gonna be using a, a Volt Active body sensor machine. These machines are basically the ones you see at the gym. You put your two hands on it. We're gonna go later, get the test, and then we're gonna compare and contrast, hopefully over the next two weeks. We see the figures that I wanna see improve, and we see the figures over the next 28 days improve as well. So it's gonna be great to challenge myself upon this. All right, body scanner machine, it's time. The moment of truth, day one, to find out where I'm at in terms of muscle mass, body fat, visceral fat, how much fat's in the left tip of my elbow, everything. I don't know, these machines are pretty accurate. So having stepped onto the Evolt Active Scanner, I could see that skeletal muscle mass and total fat mass were gonna be my main focuses. Yes, I am wearing a headband in the gym. You might ask why. I tell you what, it's accountability. If I've got a red headband on, you don't wanna be that guy taking it easy, checking your phone all the time between sets, be, being a slacker with a red headband on. So this sort of thing is an accountability. Better be on the running track, getting amongst it. Um, you know, it's a bit like that guy on the rugby pitch who's wearing pink boots. If he's gonna wear pink boots, he better, he better be making some decent hits out there. So get off, just put the black boots on if you're not that great. I knew if I was to get the results I wanted, I needed a bit of advice. Local sadist disguised as a personal trainer, part-time bodybuilder, and full-time magician, Fuzz Muhammad, came around and offered his take on my nutrition. Fuzz, yes. mate, let, go through some of this stuff that I've pre-prepared. What's, what's your take on this dish? Should we, should we have more or less of this dish? Uh, I'm pretty sure the gravy tastes super good. And I'm trying to stay away from the gravy now. We've got a salmon dish that's completely doused in oil. I know I'm not going to be able to say no to this. The protein is good. All you got to do is just remove the oil. Okay. The pasta dish here is got some chicken bits in it. I mean, this is a massive protein dish here. That's chicken. what I'm looking at. Light on the carbs, high on the protein. But what's that? Plenty of slabs of How many grams is it? Do you know when's the best time to eat it? When's the best time? It's right before you sleep. So the good thing about beef is that it has this thing that is similar to milk. Mm. Slow release of protein. Even though I was armed with the right amount of proteins to get the results I wanted, it was clear that my nutritional game was not exactly top draw. Fuzz's analysis meant that I needed to work extra hard on the fitness side of things. Let's go! Guys, there's something about lockdown in Singapore at this time of day. How's the serenity at this place? It's absolutely beautiful. No one's, no one's here. It's just lovely. So over the next 14 day period, I did three day rotations. Basically, legs day, chest and tries day, and back shoulder and biceps day. Pretty much your standard row set. Always finishing with about 10 minutes of core training. Depending if fuzz was oh my God, maybe Start with abs and finish with the weights. Okay. I feel like I'm a kickboxer in a Thailand jungle. <laughs> Abba Dabba's at the end of a session. I keep talking about it. Just do it at the start. You don't have to do it at the end. I mean, you know. Adding to the fitness was a bit of sport as well. Having to kick with the Australian football team in Singapore is always a blast. <laughs> Who's got blonde hair? He must be good. If he's got blonde hair, he must be. 90 minutes out in the sun in the middle of the day. A work of wonders to, to go ahead, some fat loss this 14 days, 28 days. Five sets straight. Five sets straight to me or you? <laughs> to me. So after letting my mate Tim win one set off me, I decided it was back to the track to get the cardio up and running. Oh. A few randoms on the run. Goalwa, better players. <laughs> yeah. Here it's they official. are. We got the new number nine of the French Goalwa. Hola. He's ready. Uh, je suis de Damien. Yeah. I don't think I can do it, boys. I have to stick with the Wanderers. Ooh. I'll see you boys out in the field. I am a few days away from checking the fat loss and the muscle gain for this period of two weeks. I'll see how I do it. The machine awaits. I intend to take you on as best I can. All right, it's been exactly two weeks since I last stood on this machine. Let's see if the results are in that I expected. Let's have a look at the app. 
Let's see my comparisons between where I am today versus two weeks ago. I'm halfway through my challenge. Officially today, here it is. I'm gonna look at the scans. 28th of June, 2020. 10th of July, 2020. Oh great. I'm a kilogram heavier. I'm, I've lost lean body mass lost skeletal muscle mass put on 1.4 kilograms of total fat mass okay this is not what I wanted to see I mean this is this is unexpected this is interesting I need to look at how this is happening okay listen many factors come into this in terms of like okay what time of day had I just eat it? No, I've been pretty consistent. I, I I came in, I haven't exercised just like I did two weeks ago. I hadn't exercised or anything. I'm not... Or just, maybe I just accept my reality. I ate too much and my workouts aren't effective yet enough. So I'm halfway through and I'm not exactly pleased with these results. It's pretty devastating considering for the past two weeks I've been seriously motivated to beat this machine, you know what I mean? To get the best scan results. I'm halfway. Hey, listen. Keep going, keep persisting. Maybe I'll up it. Maybe I have to up it. All right, I'm gonna crank it up to 40 minute runs. Trim back on the food. Crank up the weights. Let's see what we can do.